Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Zupo's SEO Talking Tea. Today's conversation, the difference between a redirect and a migration. Although it might sound obvious conceptually or just by, by like saying it out loud, it sounds obvious, but there's, uh, it actually can be a little bit more confusing or forgotten in the day-to-day -day experience of a different website. So I want to kind of you know film a video to kind of clarify and help teams slow down and understand the difference. But before we begin, I want to introduce the tea we have today. Today we have a green tea that was uh, you know, gifted from to my dad in China. It's a green tea that uh, I've had, I, I tend to have every so often. I'm not a big, the biggest green tea drinker anymore, but you know, whenever you want something a little bit lighter and more soothing, uh, this is something that I'll pull out and drink. And again, the, always a clarification, this is actually not from Tivana. It's actually just, I just use the Tivana casing. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So the difference between a redirect and a migration, let's just get started with the obvious one, what a redirect is. This is the one that a lot of companies will use right off the bat. You may own like five or six different URLs. And so what you want to do is if anyone navigates to any of those URLs, they will automatically be redirected to your website, right? So a redirect is a pretty much simplistic way of saying, if someone lands on this URL, please automatically forward them to a different URL, right? So uh, let me give you an example. Let's say I own pepperonipizza.com but my website is uh, is on pizza.com. If I type in pepperoni pizza and I add a redirect on that URL, the person who navigates there will automatically be moved to pizza.com. Plain and simple, right? Redirects are pretty simple. A migration on the other hand is different, right? And so this is where uh, we have to be very careful. Let's say you used to, uh, you used to own pepperoni pizza.com. Your site used to be there. Now you're saying, hey, you know, I kind of want to change my URL. I would love for my URL to be pizza.com. And it doesn't matter the reason, you just know you want to do that, or your team or your company wants to make, you know, knows that they want to do that. So in that case, you want to say, if anyone goes to pepperonipizza.com, I want them to be redirected to pizza.com, but I also want the site to be on pizza.com. So my site's currently on pepperonipizza.com, but when someone navigates to pizza.com, I like, you know, or sorry, let me slow down. If someone navigates now to pepperonipizza.com, I would like them to be moved to pizza.com, but also want my site to show up. That's what we call a migration, not a redirect. Because the difference is, if someone types in uh, pepperonipizza.com, and that's where your site used to live, and you want to go to pizza.com, right? Your site used to exist on pepperoni pizza. And the problem is, your site needs to now be moved to pizza.com, right? So the migration, Sorry, I just gotta make sure it's all poured out. Yeah, a migration is when not only you're redirecting a URL, a migration also means you're moving sites. So let me just say it one more time to make sure that everyone's clear on it. A migration is if you have a website on one URL and you want that website moved to a different URL. So a migration is almost essentially like a redirect, but it's moving everything over, right? And the difference is that because if you're doing a redirect, it's pretty simple, like, okay, um, you know, you just, if someone goes to this URL, automatically forward them here. A migration means, hey, we got to move this entire site to a different URL. And the reason why this is important is because if you have a URL, right, let's just say I have, uh, again, pepperonipizza.com, my site lives here, and then I want to go to pizza.com now. If you redirect and you don't do the migration, let's just say like, you, you, you're moving too quickly and you say, I want to redirect to pepperoni pizza so that all users who go to pepperoni pizza actually go to pizza.com, but they see my website. If you just do a redirect, they'll see nothing because a redirect is simply a forwarding. You must do a migration. A migration tells Google, like, not only do I want this, the new URL to be here, but every asset, every page, every line of code I've ever had on pepperonipizza.com I want to be moved on over to pizza.com. And that way, not only is your URL updated, but your, your whole website gets to move with you. This is really important, especially when it comes to SEO, but also for any anything else. You just don't want to lose a site because if you were to do that wrong and you didn't do the migration, but you did the redirect from uh, pepperoni pizza, and you're like, oh, let's just redirect. You lose, uh, your website would disappear and you would land on a, uh, pizza.com if there's nothing on there it would just show like your you know an empty page or like you know that th this page has no website on it so you could but the good thing is you can easily reverse that if that if you made that mistake you can reverse it you know break the redirect get the pepperoni pizza.com site up back up and then start the migration process we don't have enough time in this video to talk about how to do a migration and honestly migration is more of a developer's kind of conversation but what i want to just make sure is for those small businesses or marketing departments who are just you know trying to quickly move sites because you know you want to do the uh, you want to switch urls it, it, it anytime you move 
websites or move URLs, it is worth slowing down. Where redirects are very, you know, casual, you don't have to worry too much, is if, again, let me clarify this, you own a website already, the site lives on that website and URL, but you own eight other URLs that have nothing on them, then yeah, those eight URLs can redirect to your, your current site because there's nothing on those, you might as well redirect them there. It's the other way where you have a website living on a URL already and you want to move that somewhere else, that's when you really need to slow down. So this is really important because, because it has wide implications, not only for your SEO, but for your marketing. But you know, I've had conversations with companies who thought about changing URLs or changing names and stuff, and this stuff gets really important for your ultimate success, especially if you've had SEO success before, moving sites can, de uh, can derail that. All right, so hopefully that was helpful, guys. If you guys found the video valuable, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and pour out my tea, and I hope to see everybody again soon. Thanks, everybody.